Welcome to a Time Well Wasted Podcast with your host, Matt Daddy. That should go in my butt. Mr. J. I swear to Drunk Ossifer, I'm not God. The Ginger. It's just me and Vibrant Girls. And Timbo Slice. Oh man, I'm so wasted. Enjoy the show. Welcome to the show, I'm Matt Daddy. Tonight I want you to believe me when I say I've been this drunk. Does Gwyneth Paltrow want me to put coffee in my butt? And you got to marry one, kill one, and fuck one. Of course, all that and so much more, so let's get to it. Are you guys ready? Oh, yes. Ready. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. I have an honest question for you guys. <laughs> We're going to talk about some drunk stories here. Right? Oh, yes. And the reason why I want to talk about some drunk stories is because I've been dabbling into some stories that are unreal. Some people of how Ooh. they've been drunk out there. And Leo is back. Oh, <laughs> the fish? The gold Leo, the Leo the gold never fish. leaves. Leo is great. So... The question is, obviously, do you believe me if I said I was this drunk? And I'm going to read some stories. And I'm going to tell you my personal stories. And then if you guys got any, uh, feel free to jump in here. I was so drunk one time, I stole my girlfriend's goldfish and released it in the lake. <laughs> the lake. <laughs> Safe to say she was not impressed. Bye, Leo. Yeah. <laughs> be free. Be with your yeah. brothers, Leo. Yeah, yeah imagine. <laughs> free Leo. He just jumps out of the water. <laughs> You know what? You're yeah. probably not happy in there. I'm going to take you to the lake, buddy. Just hold tight. Yeah. <laughs> the goldfish is like, I'm actually pretty happy where I am. No, Leo. <laughs> Seriously. He lets them free a bird, plucks them out of the yeah. water. You need yeah. more room. The part I love the most about this is safe to say she was not impressed, my girlfriend. Because it's almost like I can see her reaction. And she's like, you fucking threw Leo in the lake. <laughs> Why really? would you do that? Yeah. The lake's like... 200 meters over there. Yeah. Like, what no, the I mean, fuck? fire's like, oh, the lake's 10 miles away. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you? He's like holding Leo and <laughs> petting him the whole time. Like, Dude, it's fuck? like a free Willy moment where he's yeah. running alongside the shore. Like, go, Leo. Yeah. He gets to the lake finally and he skips Leo. Leo jumps over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Free Leo. Yeah. Okay, so the next story here. Uh, my parents gave me bubbling grape juice one time and told me it was wine. I started acting completely wasted and even threw up twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the parents probably love that too. Oh right? yeah, because they know they're like, yeah. my son's an idiot or yeah. my daughter's a dumbass. Like, well done. That was bubbling great, but you're so caught up in the moment. You're so yeah. like, man, this is so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know up. that this oh, can you happened. Give me some Tylenol. Yeah. You know this happened to all of us, or we know somebody that we played this prank on. And they're like, "Oh yeah, man, I feel so wasted." It could be like alcohol, it could be weed. Yeah. You know, and they're like, "Oh man, I'm so wasted." It's usually Timbo, like like you're saying. It's usually like, like a 13 or 14 year old yeah. kid when their parents are like, yeah. "Yeah, all right, I'll let you have one glass of wine," and then they do the <laughs> bubbling grape juice, and the kid's yeah. like, oh, "Oh my god, I can't wait to drink more." Yeah. This is just absolutely fantastic. Acting all drunk. Oh, this is making me sleepy. The best part is, is I even threw up twice. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. <Yeah. laughs> <Jeez. laughs> oh, I'm so drunk. <laughs> uh, I got so drunk, I snuck into my school's computer lab and stole all the mouse pads. <laughs> <laughs> that's just great. Oh mouse that's pad. great. Walking to school. Pads. Where the fuck are all the oh mouse pads? <laughs> Have you been that drunk? Well, I can't Yo, say I've been that drunk. You want to see my most pad yeah. collection? <laughs> I got like 60 of they them They all here. say Westfall highs on them. <laughs> They're high. Yeah, like how do you get so drunk and just break into your school? You know, I think you're you just, in there and you're like, you know, we could steal anything. Let's steal the mouse pads. <laughs> we gotta buck all the mouse pads. I think the teacher yeah. come in and be like, did the janitor like clean all the mouse pads? I, think, I feel like the teacher be like, this is a minor inconvenience. Yeah, like, <laughs> why would anybody steal mouse pads? I think they wanted to break into the school, but they didn't want to. If they get caught, they don't want to get charged heavily. So they said, well, <laughs> you know, I just point. want to do something crazy, like break into school. What should we do? I don't know. Let's just steal all the mouse pads. You could have stole all the. Com- Power cables or something yeah. like the mouse yeah. pads don't really do anything. But I hear what you're saying, Timbo, yeah. and it's like I can only assume worry, how big this the school lab was because say if there's like a hundred computers, <laughs> they can walk away with like a stack yeah. of mouse pads. <laughs> the school's like, yeah, we just bought another order in bulk for fifty dollars. Yeah. Not yeah. a big deal to them. It's all just a game. Yeah, yeah. the kid wastes like three hours collecting all the mouse pads from all the classrooms. <laughs> Starts throwing my people off of a building. I was so drunk once, I tried to fly like a superhero from the roof of my house. Ended up breaking both <laughs> legs. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> to Dumb. infinity and beyond. Yeah. <laughs> Ginger, what's, what's going on? I got a story. So, another drunk story. Mm-hmm. 
towel around your neck as a cape. I'm Superman. Jump from the top of the stairs. But here's the thing. There's a doorway at the bottom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I see where this is going. Yeah. <laughs> that door's not open. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> you dumbass. Just, <laughs> Dead stop. Oh. That'll happen. Happens to the best of us. Oh. All right, so those were uh, obviously a collection of some hilarious drunk stories I've had. And I got a, a couple of my own, then I'll ask you guys the same thing if you guys have any uh, story. Ginger, you just shared one. Uh, you well done. Dumbass. But uh, so uh, one I remember, uh, Matt Steele. I'm pretty sure you guys all know Matt Steele. But we were at his place one time, and there was a pissing section <laughs> around the back, the back <laughs> oh, of his house. And I, and I was drinking uh, eggnog. I bought this Mr. Allen's or something. It wasn't Mr. Allen's. Banana, two for 50. Yeah, it, it was something Mr. Something, and it was a, an eggnog brand. I was drinking eggnog all night. Yeah, and I got shittered on that stuff. It was pretty good. But anyways, there was this pissing section. And I got so drunk that I went and laid in the pissing section, right? I was in there, and I'm pretty sure I was laying in piss. But I do remember certain parts where people were coming and, like, peeing beside me. And I could, <laughs> I could feel, like, the spray. Oh, oh man. Yeah, That's like, brutal. I could feel oh, the spray, no. like, on my body and on my <laughs> arms and stuff because they were pissing. Like, like I was... I was passing out into the piss section. Oh. I was definitely one of the stories that I got really fucked up. That's brutal. Um, I do have another here. Uh, uh, my 18th birthday in uh, Mitchell's Bay. I threw a big ass party out in Mitchell's Bay, and uh, I got really fucked up that time. I took some drugs. Well, or just some stuff I'm not too proud of. Things that like green and red. But anyways, took some drugs. Got really shittered. Uh, Everybody that I came with that night, actually, because cops showed up to that party, they ended up leaving. And they forced everybody off the beach. Well, they made me stay back because it was my birthday and my party. They made me stay back and clean up the beach myself. So I had to stay back and clean up this fucking party. Well, by the time I was done, there's nobody left. <laughs> there was Everybody was gone. I had no way home. Happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was on my birthday. So what I had to eventually do is basically sleep on the bench at Mitchell's Bay. Now I'm telling you oh, guys, this is, Bay yeah, benches. I had to sleep out in the open just on a bench because I had no cell phone. Or I, wait, I don't remember if I had a cell phone or not, but I think if I did, uh, nobody was answering something like that. But I remember not having any money, and that was the biggest issue. Is I couldn't even call for like a cab or anything like that. That's a brutal birthday at the yeah, end, anyway. That sucks. So those are some of my uh, dumbest drunk stories. Do you guys have any that you would like to share? So I got one. It's actually after the getting drunk part where. I was completely shit faced. Uh, probably like three in the morning, decided to go to sleep, um, and then probably about five in the morning, I have to get up because I got to puke, right? So I uh, I go to the toilet and I didn't turn the lights on, and I kneel down in front of the toilet and start puking, and I hear like, <laughs> I'm like, oh fuck! So after I finished my first puke, I turned the lights back on. I left the toilet seat down on the oh, toilet. Oh no! And puked all over the toilet all over seat. the seat. So now oh. I'm I'm drunk and I got to clean up puke or whatever so it's like making me want to puke more that was bad oh uh, it's horrible <laughs> yeah. what about you fellas Dimbo well you know I don't have a whole lot of uh, drunk stories I, mm-hmm. I usually don't get shitter face but I just remember the one time uh, after drinking uh, corch screws all night out at my buddy's place and I felt fine I just kept drinking and drinking and drinking we were playing video games and uh, basically the rules were like if you won you stayed and you continued playing you know mm-hmm. we've all done this and I kept winning, and people just kept bringing me screwdriver after screwdriver. Well, when the night was done, I went to get up, and I just couldn't walk. And so... Legs I, were numb? Legs were numb. I like I felt fine. I could see everything fine, but my legs just would not work. But I had to take my bike, and I had to get across town. I wasn't leaving my bike there. Mm-hmm. So instead of walking my bike, I tried to ride my bike home. <laughs> <laughs> That didn't work out very well. I can get about maybe uh, five rotations and then fall. But because I want to get home now, I keep getting back on it. (laughs) And then I get about five or ten rotations, keep falling. And I did that all the way home. And every time I saw a police car, I would like, I would, I would walk my bike then and just try to can't take that chance. Yeah, and try to be like super serious. It's just like I know I'm wasted. You know, I don't even know if I'm noticeable wasted. Do you ever think of that? 
Like when you're just... I'm pretty sure if you're falling every time... <laughs> you know, you know. Okay. But, but like, you're did you ever try... Yeah, he's drunk. But, I'm not, I'm, but you know I'm you're not wasted awesome or drunk. you know you're high and you're trying to act like you're not high or wasted and you yeah. don't know... Like to you, you're you're acting normal, but maybe you're not acting normal because of the state that you're in. <laughs> I swear to drunk Ossifer, I'm not God. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's basically the worst one. Ryan, you got one? Uh, I, got, I do. Um, it's more of the morning after. Gotcha. Okay, so... So the uh, hungover story. Yeah, this okay. is where I was uh, I was living in Windsor at the time, going to school whatnot. You know, good old fun party days. Mm. Um, I was shittered. I woke up the next morning in a hotel room. Okay. Ooh. Now, most people would be like, yo, oh, who's wake lady? up to five random girls. All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Oh, Why, yeah. It's Ding. just me and five random girls. How did I get here? But when one of them wakes up and doesn't recognize you, that's when the fun begins. Oh, You're just in some rant. Because now they're screaming like, who the hell are you? What the, the fuck next one wakes here? up. Kill the cops. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> man. So, okay, so one of them... dark sided. One of them knew about you, but the other one didn't? <laughs> None of them knew you. One, I, I don't know how I got there. Did you have any clothes you on? Just I just went into some random I just, <laughs> I just woke up in this hotel room surrounded by five sleeping Here's girls. Here's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so did you know any of them? No. Okay, no. were you... Wow. Do you know if you were originally staying in that hotel? And oh, no, I lived in Windsor, so I knew I wasn't staying in them. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, wow, that's intense. It's actually, wow. Okay, so it's funny because my third uh, story I have on here is uh, I went down on a chick and don't even remember her name. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's funny how you mentioned something like that because yeah. I remember that night and I had whiskey dick. Oh. So classic whiskey dick, you know, It'll sneaks get you. up on you once in a while. But yeah. yeah, I ended up going down on a chick and I don't even remember her name. So I didn't technically know her. I knew her that night. Yeah. Type deal. And ended you, up just going down on her. You so knew I, one set of her lips, that's for sure. <laughs> did, a little, <laughs> did a little carpet munch in that night, and that yeah. was it for me. Um, so I have one that's actually it's not it doesn't involve me, it involves my brother and my dad. Oh. So my dad's not that way. My dad's fiftieth <laughs> birthday party, right? This is fiftieth, we're celebrating, we have a big party for him. Lots of people there, we all get shittered, we get completely hammered, we might have smoked a couple of things, allegedly. Anyways, it's like four in the morning. Everyone's left and my dad's going to bed. He had smoked and drank a shitload. So my brother Jay, he's like, or sorry, my dad's like, oh, I want to have a shower before I go to bed. So he goes up and goes in the shower. My brother Jay's like, oh man, I'm worried about him. You know, he drank a lot. He smoked a lot. He, I, I hope he's okay. Like I better wait outside the bathroom, make sure everything's good. So my brother goes upstairs, sits on the stairs, and he's waiting for my dad or whatever to finish showering to make sure he's okay. Next thing my brother knows is my dad's tapping him on the shoulder like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Go to bed, son. Yeah. <laughs> so my brother's trying to look over my dad. My dad's like, go to bed, you dumbass. Yeah. yeah. Your brother's the one that's shit-faced on yeah. the stairs. Yeah, my brother's like, maybe I should go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, if I told you guys it would be very good for you to put coffee in your butt, <laughs> would you do it? No. I need a little bit more information. <laughs> this goes That's back to the, you. would you drink beer in your butthole? $500 question. <laughs> He's, nope. You're talking about health benefits. Yes. Yeah, so if I told you it's very good for you to put coffee in your ass, are you going to do it? Does it have to be hot? Can it be coffee beans? <laughs> Can it be coffee beans? Or does it have to be like just straight up coffee? Straight up coffee. No. You got to put it in your butt. And the health butt. benefits, like Mr. J was saying, are very good. And we're going to talk about this, okay? Because Gwyneth Paltrow, do we all know who Gwyneth oh, Paltrow is? I'm not trusting oh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Geez. Gwyneth Paltrow recommends us to put coffee in her butt. And here's why. That chick Have you ever looked up. at a freshly brewed pot of coffee and thought, that should go in my butt? <laughs> <laughs> no? Well, according to Gwyneth Paltrow, you're missing out. Otherwise known as a coffee enema, they use a device that includes a quart sized glass bottle with a squeeze pump. And two silicone catheters, so you can finally fill your colon with Java from the comfort of your own home. I just keep thinking that I'm going to scold my asshole. I just Pouring keep coffee. thinking whenever I drink coffee in the morning, it's coming out my ass in, in <laughs> yeah. an hour anyways. So, so we'll talk about that. And the reason why she recommends, okay, Gwyneth Paltrow, recommends to put coffee in your ass. Coffee enemas can mean relief from depression, confusion, general nervous tension, many allergy-related symptoms, and most importantly, relief from severe pain. 
This is from Gwyneth Paltrow or a doctor. This is actually from Gwyneth Paltrow's discovery team. <laughs> is what they call it. <laughs> Just Jesus by putting some Christ. coffee in your butt, you could actually help yourself in all these situations. But then again, well, let's read the fine print here because we got to do a little research now and then. Coffee enema has been used as an alternative therapy for various diseases, including cancer and constipation. However, its effect has not been proven and complications are not well known. According to HuffPost, they point out there have been a number of deaths related to coffee enemas, and at least one person su- <laughs> wow. at least one person suffered severe rectal burns. <laughs> imagine, okay, so imagine getting to heaven, right? And Saint, you know, Saint Peter's like, "Oh, hey, what's up? How, what would you do? I put coffee on my butt, <laughs> and I died." Yeah, like, I, I love how at the end here, there's, and they've pointed out that there's been at least one person suffered from severe rectal yeah, burns. Yeah, jeez. Like, what do you That's do, bro? About. You made a full pot of coffee, and you Instantly, just funneled that just into your it ass. Off <laughs> <laughs> Why am I doing this? Yeah, oh. yeah but Gwyneth Baltrow, if uh, she was here right now, she would obviously defend why she would want us. That to do lady this. is into a lot of weird stuff, man. She, yes, I she heard is. a story where she steams her vagina yeah. or something like that. Too. Like, it's funny because I was going to pick something like that. It was something about her vagina. Yeah, I was I'm not pick. trusting Gwyneth Paltrow. She, uh, her and her discovery team, they recommend to obviously put coffee in her ass to uh, relieve us from all of these. Situations. Oh my god! So imagine like teams. Gwyneth Paltrow, like, all right, Discovery Team, here's my next thing. Okay, <laughs> how about we put Folgers in our anus? Like the whole Discovery Team's like, uh, I guess. Like, right. you know what? She you don't have. Us. She don't have to sell us, man. Because if there's people that have already died and one has severe rectal burns, yeah. <laughs> there's people listening to this and doing it. I just don't know who's who's the dumbass that's pouring a full hot cup <laughs> like. When you drink coffee straight out the pot without milk or sugar or cream, it's hot. It burns your throat. <laughs> so you pour that yeah. in your ass. So it's Ima- gonna happen. Imagine going to that person's house, like a person's house, right? And you're like, "Oh, you got a coffee maker? I didn't even know you drank coffee." Oh, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. just yeah. for something else. Oh, <laughs> they have the coffee maker directly brewing into their ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On a drip cycle. Yeah. <laughs> put their butt up in there. What are you doing? Oh, I'm brewing three cups. Ooh, it burns. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, put some sugar in there. Put some sugar in there. Put some milk in. Cool it down. <laughs> They're stirring your butt all. Yeah. What is it, a big gape? Yeah. So you got to like go hands over it or whatever, knees over yeah. thing. The new gotta, Folgers jingle. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your ass. <laughs> Dude, Folgers in your butt. The best then part of waking up is Folgers in your ass. <laughs> you got to do butt. Folders in your butt. Oh, I said oh, ass. Oh, I said what, ass. What I'm picturing yeah. now is that somebody's going to go to Tim Hortons. They're going to have a funnel sticking out of the back of their pants. They can order the coffee, <laughs> and they're going to literally pour it down. Yeah. Do you want so some sugar with that? You nope. go through the drive-thru, and they open the window to take your change. Just an ass with a funnel. They're like, what's going on? Pour just it, put in, it in, there. in there. You're just like, pour it in there. Yeah. Just, you're like, yeah. <laughs> they just start, they're like, okay, they take the lid off, and they start pouring the cup into the <laughs> You're the one paying for this. <laughs> oh, you know what's worse than that, though? Uh, you got to remember when there were the little craze where celebrities were putting gerbils up their ass? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've been on that website. So ah, yeah. Know. No, I think it was like Richard Gere or Mel Gibson or somebody that used to put gerbils up their ass. Uh, I believe you, I think. <laughs> you know uh, what? <laughs> Mel Gibson. That's what I know. <laughs> Mel Gerblin. <Right>. Yeah. So <laughs> I definitely have heard of people putting gerbling or gerbils up their ass, but I haven't heard cele- celebrities doing it. Like yeah. Mel Gibson. I heard there's a couple celebrities. That oh, you know what? Who did. would do it though? Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> yeah. He would put a gerbil in her butt for sure. Well, if she wants me to put coffee, I'd rather a gerbil in my butt than coffee. Don't put the I'm coffee you, in when the gerbils in there though. Well, that thing's gonna <laughs> scratch and gerbil. bite you from the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't say it had to be alive, Tim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Good point. I'm Who's, already putting death and coffee in my butt. Yeah, but probably. yeah, I just got spare dead gerbils that I put in my butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So Gwyneth Paltrow, I don't know if I recommend, and I agree with your discovery team to put coffee in my ass, but if I did, I'm going to take that with three cream, three sugar. <laughs> yeah. I'll Obviously. take a double double, please. Guys, we're going to wrap up our show tonight. With a little game I like to call Marry One, Kill One, and Fuck One. Yes. 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 Have you heard about this game? Timbo. Woo-hoo. Have you heard about this game? Oh, Mr. Yes. J and Ginger. You got to marry one. You got to kill one. And you got to fuck one. So to our listeners, I'm going to shout out three names. And you guys are going to have to describe which one you're going to want to marry, <sighs> kill, or fuck. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yes. Perfect. So the first lineup I have here is what I call the booty line. 
<laughs> okay, Excellent. so this uh, is nothing but butts. Uh, yeah. The first name on the night is Nicki Minaj, Kim Kardashian, and Jennifer Lopez. You got to marry one, mm. kill one, and fuck one. Ginger, you're my man. Let's go. All right. Well, I'm going to kill the Kardashian right off the start. Mm-hmm. She's, dead. She's, she's dead. She's dead. She's gone. <laughs> she's <Bye-bye>. done. <laughs> yeah. No, there's you're giving her the kill dash in. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> I probably fuck Nicki Minaj and marry J Lo. Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay. Can you yeah. explain why why you would marry Nicki and kill J Lo? So you want some rap in your life, huh? One sings, one raps, I guess. I don't yeah. think Jennifer Lopez raps. No. Not really. She's mainly okay. singing. Yeah, she's I mostly singing. Anyway. Nicki Minaj she's is a kind little of bit annoying more... in herself. Yeah. So I mean I could I think I could handle a fuck with her, but I couldn't handle living with her it, it really comes down to who which butt you prefer yeah. <laughs> if you think about it but well i think uh jennifer lopez's butt is the only one that's not fake out yeah. of everyone there yeah so. okay so ginger recite your answers which way are you going mary j-lo okay fuck nikki kill kardashian kill kardashian mary j-lo fuck nikki timbo slice i think i'm gonna go with the same thing i think uh j-lo is the most uh the one that i can see being with the most uh, she's the most real. The most she real. She seems a little bit that. more Thank wholesome than Nikki. <laughs> Oracle. Yeah. Wholesome. She's yeah. more down to earth. Is yeah. that like H O L E or W H O L E? Okay, so uh, Nikki is wholesome <laughs> without the W. Oh, okay. And Jennifer is wholesome with the W. Okay, but Kim you. Kardashian, I can't stand the Kardashians. No, fuck them. They can all die. Yeah. Fuck them. Yeah, I thought I'd throw it in there. I did but, a booty line up here. But so. Nicki Minaj, you know, yeah, why not? Tap that ass, stick one in her. <laughs> okay, and who are you marrying? J Lo, J Lo. Okay, J Lo. Okay, yeah. Mr. J. Same thing. Yep. And pretty much for the same yeah. reasons. Yeah. And uh, Kim Kardashian just annoys the hell out of me. Yep. Nikki kind of annoys me, but she seems like she might be fun to party with, and you know, probably good at the banging. And then J Lo seems like she'd be all right to marry and have a good, that's a good partner. Plus, she's pretty good. She's Mr. Nice J, party. I'm right on the same mm-hmm. page as you. Uh, yeah. So we all agreed that he, we that's gonna, like the first one we we're all on the same page. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna rename her to. <laughs> Kill Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. Yeah, anyways, my joke sucks. Uh, we're going to move on to the next one here. Okay, so marry one, kill one, and fuck one. You got Martha Stewart, <laughs> yes. Pamela Anderson, and Aunt Jemima. <laughs> Jemima. Who the fuck is this? This great. The syrup she, lady. She's the syrup lady, bro. She's not real, but she's a syrup lady. Yeah. So all we know about her is she really yeah. likes syrup. All yeah. right. <laughs> that could be good for fucking good, good lubrication. Yeah. Uh, Ginger, you're going to actually hold your damn beard over there. We're going to go to Mr. J this time. Martha Stewart, Pamela Anderson. And Aunt Jemima, which way are you going? I'm marrying Martha Stewart because you know she's a you know nice little homemaker. Yeah, you know? and she, she smokes good. weed. Yeah, she smokes, smokes weed. <laughs> so she's gonna be cool with me having fun time smoking weed. I can smoke. I can hang out with Snoop Dogg. That's the way Snoop I'm Dogg seeing it. Snoop Dogg hangs yeah. out with fucking yep. Martha Stewart. Yep. Uh, I'm banging Pamela Anderson because she was. Because she knows star. how to do yeah, it. She knows yeah, how to bang. She knows right. how to do it. And this is no offense to Aunt Jemima because I think she's probably a nice lady. <laughs> I just I just don't know much about her. So what do you do? You kill the syrup bottle? Yeah, well, <laughs> you just like, slit her throat, pour it over your pancakes. Yeah. Look, all I'm saying, the garbage. I don't mind waffles, but I don't need them that bad. So <laughs> sorry, Angel, Mama, you're gone. You're gone. Yeah. yeah, no pancakes for me. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so obviously Martha. Yeah, she's I'm married. married Pamela, you know what you're doing. Yeah. We're going to get dirty in the sheets. And, and Jemima, I've seen some of Pam's <laughs> videos. And she ain't afraid to get dirty. You can if syrup my garbage bail. Yeah. I got you. Timbo Slice. Marry well, one, kill one, fuck one. Which way you I going? I think we're all going to have the same answer. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, Martha yeah, Stewart. Yeah. Wait till we get to the next round. Here. She's, she's going to take care of me. You know what I mean? And I won't have to lift the fingers. Yeah. She knows how to cook. She knows how to clean. She knows. Yeah. She's going to bring she you has a her own clothing line. Everything like that. You know, I'm set for life with her. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Does she have a clothing line? I don't even know. She's got a little bit of everything, but she's yeah. been to jail for a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> a little bit saying, of she's like fraud. nice and a little yeah. bit. Yeah, you, know? you can marry her, but she might fuck you over, too. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. don't know. But uh, that might be the one you want to kill. I don't know. I'd fuck a syrup bottle. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Pamela Anderson. Def- yeah. <laughs> Definitely I know fucking if I was Pamela trying. Anderson. She's fucking What'd hot. What would you do? Stick your dick right in the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Tim, just to wrap up, so you're, you're marrying Martha, and you're going to fuck yep. Pamela, so Mr. J all over, and you're going to kill Aunt Jemima. So how, how are you killing the syrup bottle? <laughs> I'm just curious. Uh, What's your method of kill? Throw it in the oven. Why not? <laughs> oh, you <laughs> did. <laughs> that is all done. Wow. That is all done. Oh, man. <laughs> throw, throw it in the oven. So you got to preheat the oven. And you yeah. gotta- 
<laughs> Imagine Man. cleaning it up afterwards. Don't the plastic would melt. You just see your little face on the bottle yeah. start melting. <laughs> but Jim, I would be perfect. I'm melting. <laughs> Ginger. Yeah. What's going on? Marry one, kill one, fuck one. Tell me. Marry Martha. She's she's gonna treat you well, man. You don't have to lift a finger. She's gonna be there. She, you're, she's your homemaker, <laughs> all right. But guys, she could be a lot of trouble too. Man. Fuck. Martha's been around the block. Don't exactly. let her confuse you. Fuck Pamela. I mean, she Baywatch. Knows what she's hey, doing. Oh. go get your Baywatch gear on. I will be the drowning victim. <laughs> Come resuscitate me. <laughs> yeah. Give me CPR. All right. And then I'm gonna strangle Aunt Jemima. Wow, that's dark. Why you squeeze the you squeeze the neck the syrup's gonna come out. Oh, I was thinking of a ra- I was thinking like a race thing. <laughs> Guys, I have the greatest yeah. solution to this setup. None of you said it so far. So the first thing I'm marrying is Aunt Jemima. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know why? Because I marry a syrup bottle. I don't have to deal with shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You guys never thought about that. Okay. Yeah. You're going in the fridge or the cupboard. And that's it. That's she all gonna, I Aunt Jemima ain't going to take half your stuff. No. <laughs> that's what I mean. I'm doing that. I'm going to fuck Pamela because you know she knows how to do it. Yeah. And Martha, you did. So all I have to do is fuck a porn star and, and marry something that nobody even knows about. Dude, it'd be a cheap wedding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I have the easiest life ever. All as your, long as I marry Aunt Jemima. All your wedding guests are waffles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Toaster. I now pronounce you a <laughs> man and syrup bottle. <laughs> You may syrup the bride. Oh, yeah, okay. Anyways, so the next round here, okay. Now this is where it gets even more interesting. Timbo Slice, since mm-hmm. I'm giving you some love eyes over there. Are you ready? I'm ready. You got to marry one, kill one, and fuck one. All right. Buzz Lightyear, <laughs> E.T., and Chewbacca. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. You got to marry one, kill one, and fuck one. None of these e. are female, e. and they would be all be rough to fuck. All right. So E.T., Chewbacca, and who? Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. Oh, <laughs> yeah. shit. That's e. a good one. E.T., Chewbacca. Buzz okay, Lightyear. so E.T. E. I think, I think e. I'm going to kill him. Home. Home. Yeah, I'm, you I'm, have the two-finger guy. I'm going to kill E.T. <laughs> right off the bat. Okay, why are you killing him? Uh, he's an ugly motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so you that, must love Chewbacca. Good. And he can't talk. He can't talk. All he can say is, like, ouch and phone home. Like, I'm going to get annoyed talking to him. Holy fuck, dude. Have you ever heard Chewbacca? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but anyway, I'm probably going to fuck Chewie. I'm probably going to fuck Bud's Lightyear. <laughs> because because I don't know if I want to fuck through all the hair. His helmet so probably, just keeps closing on his dick. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking his laser beams. <laughs> hey, we could fly and fuck. That would be pretty fun. Nice. Uh, nice. And then Chewbacca. You're going to marry Chewbacca. I'm going to marry Chewbacca. He's going to be pretty warm to cuddle with. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. J. <laughs> Buzz uh, Lightyear, E.T., and Chewbacca. So we're, I'm we're, definitely not fucking E.T. <laughs> <laughs> Although he's, his head's probably at a good height, you know what I'm saying? He's got so, that long finger, man. I'm probably killing E.T. Now that he's a bad alien, he was pretty sweet in the movie. He's a nice alien, but I don't know what the fuck he's saying. Dude, you know if there's one thing he's good at, it's phoning home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's all he wants to do is phone so, home. So yeah. call I, home. I'm killing E.T. I'm going to marry Chewbacca. Only because it's fucking Star Wars. You can't fuck Chewbacca anyways. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking, he'd fuck How me. How do you even find his butthole? <laughs> so Chewbacca's like seven feet tall, right? Yeah. He would fuck me. Right? <laughs> yeah. He would make great sex noises, so. though. I'm just like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 chewy, chewy, oh, oh. Yeah, so. And then uh, Buzz Lightyear. Or, uh, yeah, I- I'd fuck Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. yeah. He'd be all right. To infinity and Jeff's yeah. dick. Yeah, he's got you. Okay. I'd so. be fucking Tim Allen, basically. <laughs> <laughs> we're fucking buzz. We're marrying Chewie, and ET's dead. He seems so nice, but you guys it's just want to kill his ass off. At least right? hum, like humanoid out of all. He, yeah. you know, have you seen him? I don't yeah. know, dude. You guys are talking between Chewbacca and ET. ET knows how to say words. <laughs> Chewbacca just knows like how to growl. Chewbacca just give me language. Yeah. Chewbacca's a hairy yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> too, man. That's why you you yeah, every time you go down on him, you just like get you know hair. His dick's probably like a knot of hair. <laughs> yeah it's like yeah does he have like a dog dick you yeah. know where it's that like sticks. a little pink that sticks out. Ah. yeah hey ladies yeah. you forgot your jet chair your lipstick <laughs> <laughs> now, now I'm thinking about Teen Wolf anybody yeah. ever seen a Teen Wolf yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about Harry Guy okay uh, Ginger last but not least uh, Buzz Lightyear E.T. or Chewbacca no. marry one kill one fuck one what's going it's on it's gonna have to be the same way I think again gonna have to kill E.T. because 
That fucker just wants to go home all the time. <laughs> There's no fun there. No. Fuck. And then Buzz Lightyear. I'd probably fuck Buzz Lightyear. To infinity and beyond. Yeah, man, you right. go that way. Oh, yeah. So you're going to fuck him to infinity. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> and then yeah. I'm going to marry the He's, fuck out of Chewbacca. He starts off in space where they show, like, light speed and warp yeah. speed and all the lines da, go by. Da, he starts off slow da, and it's going slow and then he starts fucking the warp <laughs> speed. Like, yeah. We're going all the way to infinity. To infinity. I'll say this much. When I'm fucking Chewbacca... Because we're married, right? We're going to fuck, obviously. I want the Star Wars music to be playing in the background. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 All right, so... Uh, it's a trap! I would tell you my uh, honest answer. Is I uh, agreed with you guys the whole time. Only one part is I'm killing Chewbacca. Okay, because I can't... St- I, I don't know how to marry Chewbacca because I wouldn't know how to have a conversation with Chewbacca. I'd be like, hey, can you do the dishes? He'd be like... And I'd be like well, does that mean you did them? <laughs> or what, man? Like yeah. Han Solo knew... could understand him. Well, he, I mean, he could not. Yeah, but imagine the hairballs. You know, it's like, oh, I got to vacuum up after oh, my, I my him wife. All the time. Yeah, like I feel like over time I would understand. Like, you yeah. know, if, like I, he's in the bathroom and I hear... I'd be like, oh, like, he's taking a big old dump. What if, what if like, like he's... What if he's like your normal pets and like you throw something and he goes to chase it? Yeah. <laughs> Great. And uh, okay, so yeah, so Chewbacca, you're done. Okay, I'm killing you. Uh, when we go to Buzz Lightyear, I gotta marry Buzz, and here's why: because he's always trying to protect my Woody. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well done. Good yeah, he's call. always trying to protect my Woody. Like he's always, you know, yeah, he's, you know. He's like right on the right yeah. on the ready to go with his laser beams and the helmet. He's, I you know I got your back stuff like that. You know I'm ready to marry Buzz Lightyear. So you're like you you and and yeah, every like everybody else, uh, ET's dead. So this for reminds sure. me of another Toy Story joke. Did you know that Andy's mom has the same names for her toys too? <laughs> yeah, Woody and Buzz. <laughs> nice. Okay, so uh, on that note, guys, uh, thanks for playing some Marry One, Kill One, Fuck One. We're going to wrap this show up tonight. To our listeners, uh, please do check us out on iTunes at Time Well Wasted, Facebook, our website at 1HQ.ca slash podcast. Proud to have you listen to us, and we thank you. So cheers. Peace out, everybody. We will see you next time. See ya. Take her easy. Peace. Thank you for listening to a Time Well Wasted podcast. If you'd like to hear more, check us out at 1HQ.ca slash podcast. And we'll see you next time, bitches.